All right, guys, how are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good. Today, we've got a uh, interesting video because we're going to be looking at My Son is a Simp. I did a video previously on this channel called True Stories, and uh, I figured I'd take a look at this video and uh, see what it's all about, considering the uh, title has simp in it. So let's just get straight into this. Hello, I'm May, and I think I've raised a simp. You know this is bad when your own mum says you're a simp, like, also how do parents know what the word simp means? Like, I swear it's not all over Facebook. But I can't tell you his real name in case anyone recognises him, so for this story I'll just call him Hans. Anyway, I've always known Hans was special. At least his mother has the decency to cover up her son's identity so that no one goes around calling him a simp. Like imagine your actual own mother, your own parents, whatever, actually calling you a simp. Like, you know you've hit rock bottom at that point. As a small boy he loved going to the park. But instead of playing on the swings with the other children, he would spend the whole time off by himself, under a tree somewhere, digging in the dirt with a stick, or pulling back the tree's bark looking for insects. So basically your son's a simp because he goes out and plays in nature and looks for bugs. I swear that's just a kid going out being a kid. So if any of you guys actually go outside and play in nature, which I know none of you do, then you're a simp. simp. Hans developed a full-blown obsession with bugs. Spiders were his absolute favourite. He would constantly remind us that most female spiders eat the males when they're done with them. Boys are useless, he'd say. Girls are the real queens. Okay, I can kind of see how this guy's heading down the road to become a simp. And apparently us men, we are useless, you know, so uh, you've heard it here, guys. And to be honest, I don't think anyone really likes spiders other than this weird kid who's obsessed with queens and women and spiders. I didn't think much of it at the time, but looking back now, that's the logic he applied to people as well. On the way to school, Hans would offer to carry his older sister's backpack, saying, Girls needed to be looked after. They are the mothers of the future. Bro, you can't be carrying your sister's bag to school, okay? Make her carry it, make her walk behind you, and show her one of your absolute alpha chad, bro. Come on, bro, I'm just disappointed. During his third grade parent-teacher conference, his teacher praised his manners and said Hans was a little gentleman. She told us how he'd always offer to come out to the front to sharpen girls' pencils, and would hold open the classroom door for them. You know you're the biggest chad in class when you're going up sharpening girls' pencils for them. Trust me guys, if you want to get that hot crush in your class and you don't know what to do, walk up to her, grab a pencil off her desk, go and sharpen it for her, and I promise she will be yours. Trust me. And don't get me started about opening a door for a woman. Just don't do it, okay guys? That's an absolute beta move. You know this guy just calls every girl that walks through the door that he's open for a queen. But for some reason, Hans still seemed to struggle to make friends. He only ever hung out with one boy at school, who he had a few things in common with. If you're hanging around kids that are eating bugs, you're better off going and hanging with the girls and calling them the queen. It got worse once he became a teenager. He started spending all of his free time alone in his room or on the computer gaming. I can promise you that he's doing a lot more than gaming, okay? And he's on those uh, naughty websites and probably donating to hot Twitch streamers. Your son is one of the simps in the chat, I'm afraid. After our daughter moved out, my husband began to worry that Hans might be turning gay from spending all that time online playing with other boys. As far as I knew, he'd never even been on a single date. So basically, if your son's playing a bit of COD with the boys, then your son's turning gay. gay. I'm sorry to tell you guys, but if you actually game with the boys, then you're clearly gay. gay. What is this video, man? But one afternoon, Hans burst into the kitchen and begged to borrow my credit card. Apparently, he'd found a site where he could pay girls to play with him online. The prices seemed reasonable, so I gave it to him. Secretly, I hoped Hans might connect with the girl and they'd meet up in real life. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, but your son is a massive simp. Paying to play with a girl. Why can't you just play with a girl for free? It's not that hard to impress a girl in a game and get to play with you if you know how to trick shot paying for women to play with you. <laughs> Pretty soon his bedroom walls were decorated with photos he'd printed out of the young ladies he was playing with. Wait, is that Pokemane in the middle? <laughs> Sometimes I'd overhear him talking to one of them. You're so pretty. If you need anything, just let me know. He seemed so much happier. When your mum thinks you're talking to a hot girl, but secretly you're just talking to a girl in chat. He's also probably just donated about $10,000 worth of subs. Until one day he seemed really down. He confided in me that whenever he played with a girl gamer, the other guys online would make rude and sexist remarks towards her. Of course, he'd always jump in to defend the damsel in distress, but the other guys had turned on him for it and started teasing him. Guys, we have a level 100 white knight in the chat, okay? He's just there defending his queen, making sure that she doesn't take any sword damage. Every hot Twitch streamer, e-girl, has one of these to defend them by their side, just in case. Because you know there's always going to be that one arsehole in the chat that's like, girls can't play video games. I just told him to ignore it and to keep doing what he thought was right. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for my husband. He hit the roof when he found out that Hans had been using my credit card to pay girls to play with him. I don't want any son of mine behaving like a simp, 
he yelled. I swear parents actually do not know what the word means. I generally have never heard, and I don't think I ever will hear a parent use the word simp. simp. They just say that their son's pathetic or something. <laughs> I think hearing that triggered something in Hans. Because after that, he started uploading videos to his YouTube, teasing other guys for simping. He'd call his father and I into the room to watch them as though he was trying to win his father's approval. That's more like it, my husband said. Teach those viewers to be men, not mice. You heard it here, guys. If you want your daddy's approval, instead of actually being a simp and a white knight, you bully the simps, and then you can get your daddy's approval back. It works every time, 100% guaranteed, I promise. Anyway, the videos were popular and his channel grew quickly. Hans actually started making money from them. Honestly, what is this guy doing to better get 5 million views? Like, please teach me. I want 5 million views on my videos. I'm just going to start bullying Sims from now on. And he's actually making dough from it. But I bet you he uses that money to donate to the Twitch streamers. But as fast as the money came in, he spent it. I'll never forget the first time Hans made a sizable donation to some girl online. He stood in his bedroom doorway, yelling down the hall, Mom, Mom, I can't believe it. She noticed me. She said my name on stream. What the fuck is this video, man? Seriously, the kids actually go and brag to their parents and say that some girl called their name on stream. That's just pathetic, seriously. Like, just don't donate. Stop donating. Use your pocket money and your money that you earn from your YouTube channel on yourself. A few weeks after that, he asked his father and I if he could invite a girl around for dinner. My heart did a little jump for joy when Hans told me that he'd actually fallen for one of the girls he'd been paying to play with. That's great, honey, I said. As if this kid's managed to get some hot chick, some hot ego to come around his house and have dinner with him. This does not sound right. He must be paying her. He probably is paying her. Do you want to ask her over this Saturday evening? Not yet. Soon. She has a boyfriend at the moment. But don't worry. I just messaged her and told her I love her. When she realizes how much love I can give, she'll break up with him to be with me. Until then... I'll do whatever I can to help her mom. Bro, she's got a boyfriend. You're donating your life savings to this girl. Since did not understand that they will never get girls like this, okay? This is not the alpha Chad move that you've got to do to get that girl. Hans went on to explain how he'd been paying for her OnlyFans and then making videos about it for his YouTube channel to help her get more exposure. Okay, this is just getting much worse now, okay? You're paying for this girl's OnlyFans, like what? Honestly, that was Belle Delphine, I swear, like, and also why is this kid got a shrine with flowers and a candle? <laughs> what the hell? I'm still trying to wrap my head around it all. My husband seems to think being a simp is bad, but Han's YouTube channel is doing great, and everyone else seems to be happy. So maybe his simping isn't such a bad thing after all? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I've also just gone through a lot of the comments and a lot of people seem to think this is Will and E since Belle Delphine was in the picture. Anyway, make sure to comment your thoughts down below and uh, tell me what you thought of the video and uh, if you guys want me to do more videos like this, smash like. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe if you guys are new, and follow my Twitter and join my Discord server and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.